Hey everyone, Chris from Precision Tone Studios here, making this video today to address a few things. One being the Facebook media people and their questions about uh, when I would finally get this amp done. Um, <clears throat> so now that that question is answered, uh, it is finished, the chassis is uh, up and operational. Next are the Music Gear forums of people who are modding their uh, 5151 and 2 uh, 6505 standard and plus series amps. I'm going to go over the mods that I've done to my particular model, the 6505 plus 112. Uh, due to there being no, being not nearly the information about modding these particular models, uh, I imagine there is some demand for this knowledge since I have personally traced uh, on the other models in comparison to mine the circuits to determine uh, the correct parts to change. And this model has some differences to the 5150 series too. Uh, so that there, so first being that there's only five preamp tubes in it uh, in this combo model, as opposed to six on the uh, on the full size versions. Uh, some different valves, uh, or some different values. I'm sorry, in the tone stack components, uh, a capacitor frequency roll off filter where the lead gain uh, pre gain is uh, rolled off over six uh, frequencies and 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 an inferior effects loop. All of these I uh, have modded and upgraded, and we'll go over in this video. Uh, and the rest you can. Uh, use for your own information. And without further, further ado, I bring you the Prototype Super Mod 60. Okay, here's basically the amp chassis of the PTS Super Mod 60. Uh, 6505 112 um, owners. Uh, pay uh, attention to here. Here is where I uh, installed the extra preamp tube. I cut a hole in there obviously and put a new socket in there that's paralleled off of all the valves for v or all the all the pins from v2 but anyway this uh is 60 watts on two l6 gc tubes and uh again the sixth preamp tube is paralleled off of uh, valve two all prongs one through nine you see back here we have the mid frequency sweep controls and the four inch cooling fan. Capacitor five, which is a 470 picofarad, is replaced with a 470K resistor and a 0 0.0022 microfarad cap in parallel. R26 <clears throat> is changed to a 10K and 50K variable pot for the mid sweep on the clean channels. The mid sweep on the dirty channel is R47 100K, changed to a 20K and 250K variable pot. Again, that's for the mid range frequency sweep on the dirty channel. R12, here's the beginning of the Saldano mods, only two of them. R12 is changed from a 37.4K to a 39K. And C30, which is the high end frequency filter roll off uh, with the lead pre gain above six. It's C30 and you simply cut it out. V3 has a 10 farad pico cap, pico farad cap installed between pins 7 and 8. That gives a bit more of a high mid tailoring on the lead channel. With the effects loop fix, and this is the actual PV recommended factory fix too, you take R86 and wire in parallel a 200 volt 0.022 microfarad cap in parallel again with R86. That does the effects loop fix. A 4 inch DC fan is installed in the back for cooling the top of the amp chassis uh, with the tubes above the chassis as well as the output, uh, the supply and output transformer and does have a vented, uh, a screen vent, I'm sorry, in the uh, chassis on the bottom part for cooling the circuit board as well. Again, now the bias mod for the power tube has not been installed on this yet. But other than that, we have pretty much done uh, all the mods on this thing as far as the tone that you can really do. Everything else is pretty much going to be upgrading in parts and whatnot from now on. Using a uh, Boss Amp Modeler in the effects loop for my third channel lead boost and a digital delay which is pretty much on at all times. Here it is folks. 6505 Plus 112 modded.
to basically be a halfway cross between a Soldano SLO and a 5152 with sweepable mid frequency controls separate on each channel. Oh, I guess we dubbed it the PTS Super Mod 60. Next is the demo. We're going to hear the amp.
So an overview of the mods that we've done to this 60 watt PV uh, 5150 6505 plus 112 super mod alterations. 612x7 preamp tubes. One is added by parallel wire off pins 1 through 9 on valve 2. C5 capacitor 470 picofarad replaced with resistor 470k, one quarter watt at least, and a 0.0022 microfarad cap in parallel. R26, a 33k replaced with a 10k and 50k variable pot in series, which means the, the resistor and the pot will be in series lined together, just like R47 on the dirty channel. 100k changed with a 20k and 250k variable pot. Again, these are separate channel variable mid range frequency sweep, both series wire resistor with the pot. R26 is the clean channel, R47 the dirty. The Saldano SLO cloning mods include R12, which is a 37.4k replaced with a 39k. And C, capacitor 30, remove it to disable the frequency roll-off filter. The effects loop upgrade, R86, simply wire a .022 microfarad 200 volt cap in parallel with R86. The optional preamp mod that I did is valve free on pins 7 and 8, install 10 picofarad cap between those. There you can install, for a darker sound, uh, the same cap between pins 6 and 7. Cold bias and voltage choke are the only stock features left on this amp that don't match the 5150 series 2 and 6505 plus 120 watts. Hope this helps you all. Thank you for watching.